What actions are we gonna take together today? What commitments are we gonna make that are gonna be your next domino that's gonna lead to a room full of people being there because of you? Like Jason shared that story about, you know, me as he brought me up and like how we know each other. Because I took that action, I started to produce at a very high level. I became a top producer in my market, went on to build a top performing team in my market, became a original investor and founding member of a technology called Commissions Inc. Lo and behold, I'm at a conference two and a half years later and I run into this guy. Because of actions and decisions that I made in an inspired moment. So these conferences can, can mean a lot, but, but there's something in, in, in each of you that's holding you back right now. I don't know what it is for you, but I know that everybody in here, myself included, is being held back from another level that's available to all of us if we'll just identify what that is and attack it. So my, my encouragement to you is that as we listen to the rest of these talks today and we hear about the success that others are having, that we identify what's that thing for us because there is a thing for all of us. I don't know if it's health related. I don't know if it's financially related. I don't know what it is for you, but it's something that's holding you back. And I believe that we can sort of identify this if we, if we boil it down to three things. Three reasons why you're stuck right now is it's a lack of planning. So you haven't actually planned. The statistics are, are true. 97% of the people don't have written down goals. I was in that category at one time, not anymore. And my wife can attest to the fact that when we had nothing and I was building out my vision for our life and writing down things in a journal and cutting out things in magazines and placing them in there, we still have those journals today. And our life became eerily similar to those goals and visions that we had for ourselves when we had nothing. So it's a lack of planning. And because you don't take the time to plan, you don't have anywhere to focus. So these things build on each other. And because we don't plan for the things that we want and because we don't focus on them, we lack confidence. And when people lack confidence, they do nothing. Back to that action. When I went to that event, they gave me a plan, I was committed to following it. The plan gave me focus, which led me to take action, which increased my confidence. And it became a cycle that allowed me to succeed in everything I did after. I came into EXP in 2020. Guys, they were saying it was too late then. Oh, it's too late, you didn't get in early. There was already people making millions of dollars a year. But that didn't matter to me. I saw a plan, I focused, and I broke the record and built an organization to a thousand faster than anybody in the history of the company. And somebody else is gonna do that. Somebody else is gonna come in. The, we say the person that's gonna make the most money in this company hasn't even joined yet. It's gonna happen. But that person's gonna have to come in, they're gonna have to follow a plan, focus, take massive action, and gain confidence. So this concept, Jen talked about it in her talk the lies we tell ourselves, Everything that's holding you back from writing down that one thing that you know what it is right now, and I believe you know what it is. I believe when I asked you that question several minutes ago, there was something in there that you may not have wanted to acknowledge. Maybe it's an addiction, maybe it's a habit, maybe it's a, a person, but you know what that thing is. And it's the fear you have and the lies that you tell yourself around that, that programming that's keeping you from an amazing life that's gonna impact many more people. Because that's the real identity of an amazing life is that it doesn't just make it more amazing for you, it makes it more amazing for so many other people. And if it's not, then that's not your amazing life. Jack Canfield says everything you want is on the other side of fear. And 95% of the thoughts that you have today are the same thoughts you had yesterday. So think about that. Think about, be consciously aware of what you're thinking about because you're gonna leave this room, you're gonna go back into your day to day, you're gonna be in a deal, you're gonna be going to that inspection, you're gonna be dealing with that lender, that other agent that you don't like, and your same thought patterns are gonna show up. Can we be consciously aware of what they are? 
that, that lie that you're telling yourself that this is just how it is, that money doesn't grow from trees, that it's a, it's a challenging market, screw that. In 2008, I'm sitting in my chiropractor's office and she gives me this look of like concern and worry because she knows I'm a real estate agent. She says, how you doing? I said, pretty damn good. I got 10 closings on Friday. On Friday. So it's what you make of it. 